Understanding Lavender Seedlings, a guide to English language learners. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase, lavender seedlings. This phrase may seem simple, but it's packed with meaning and imagery that can enrich your English vocabulary. So, let's explore what lavender seedlings are and how this phrase can be used in different contexts. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, lavender and seedlings. Lavender is a type of plant known for its purple flowers and soothing fragrance. It's often associated with calmness, beauty, and nature. On the other hand, seedlings refer to young plants that have recently started to grow from seeds. These are in the early stages of development, just beginning to sprout leaves and roots. Lavender has a rich history and a variety of uses. It's not just a beautiful plant, it has been used for medicinal purposes, in aromatherapy, and as a symbol of serenity. Understanding the background of lavender can help you appreciate the phrase, lavender seedlings, even more as it combines the idea of growth and the calming essence of lavender. Now, let's see how we can use lavender seedlings in different sentences. This phrase can be applied in various contexts, such as gardening, personal growth, or describing a peaceful scene. Here are a few examples. I planted lavender seedlings in my garden to bring a touch of calmness and beauty. Watching the lavender seedlings grow reminds me of the importance of patience and care in personal development. The lavender seedlings by the window filled the room with a gentle, soothing scent. Interestingly, lavender seedlings can also be used metaphorically to represent new beginnings, growth, and potential. This makes the phrase very versatile and poetic, adding depth to your English communication. I hope this exploration of lavender seedlings has been enlightening. This phrase embodies the beauty of nature, the process of growth, and the tranquility lavender brings. Remember, every word and phrase in English can open up a world of imagery and emotion. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.